So, <coughs> now we will start with the, so we have seen six member ring system and then five member ring system. Now, we will see the four member ring system. cyclobutanone okay this on photolysis this is not like a cyclohexanone or cyclopentanone system most of this pho uh, the photochemistry of cyclobutanone is predominated from the single state okay it never undergoes any intersystem crossing to the triplet. Most of this case you will see that the photochemistry is happening from the singlet, but it is n pi star, but from the singlet n pi star actually. After this it can undergo an alpha cleavage. Acyl and alkyl radical. Most of the chem your primary photo process ends up in a acyl and alkyl radical. It is only about you have to know which from which state the chemistry happens. Except cyclobutone, most of the chemistry happens from your triplet. Okay. Now, we will see that what are the secondary process it can do. It has some interesting secondary process like. can think about. First thing you can think about your decarbonylization. So, decarbonylation giving you We will get a 1 3 di radical system. So, we have seen 1 5 di radical system, we have observed 1 4 di radical, okay. now we are seeing 1 3 di radical. <coughs> so, what this 1 3 di radical does? what products I can expect from 1 3 di radical. Same way you can have your cyclization to give me cyclopropane type of system. Right? And then you can think about your same like your 1 5 di radical, you can think about your hydrogen abstraction. get systems like this. Okay. So, this what 1 3 di radical does fine. Okay. Um, any idea what this molecule any secondary process it can do? Anything interesting secondary process which this this particular radical can do? type of 1 4 di radical, it is type of 1 4 di radical right 1 2 3 4 1 4 di radical, 1 4 di radical we are studied, it can do beta cleavage. So, if it does beta cleavage then what you are ending up, you will end up with your ketene right, you can end up with ketene plus you can end up with your So, it looks like more like a 1 4 di radical system doing its beta cleavage. 
Another interesting thing this does is ring expansion. This is beta cubits. This is ring expansion. You can take this radical. Okay. See what happens. Ring expansion. What you are thinking of? Any idea what you can get? It's a radical, okay? You get a nice product. Can you write that? What do you get? You get oxacarbene. So, this is a unique of your cyclobutanone type of system. You get uh, in several example you can see you are getting oxacarbene system. Uh, oxacarbene is formed in most of most of the cases. And uh, if it is done in the presence of methanol, then oxa because it is a carbon, right? So you can write your so you end up with this product. Which one? Can this carbon add to a double bond? Yeah, it depends upon in what system you are doing. Yeah, if you are because after this it is carbon reaction. Okay. So it depends upon the environment, what environment if you want to trap that carbon, you can trap that carbon, whatever. But normally if you do the photolysis in methanol, then you get this product. Okay. Um, so this is very interesting. Is you get decarbonylization, that sometimes dominates. See all these three reactions dominate most of the time. See decarbonation, it's it's allowed because the cyclobutane it wants to break it up, okay, so that the ring strain is overcome. So that is dominating. Then you are saying that sir, I get one four di radical. Then beta cleavage is also dominating reaction. And this ring expansion because the driving force for the ring expansion is the formation of your carbene. So that also dominates. So these three reactions dominate, okay. So, that is why when you do in solution you have to understand like what product we are looking for or you are doing in methanol then you most of the time end up with the carbon, oxacarbon reactions. Hmm? Beta gamma? By abstracting the hydrogen. By abstracting which hydrogen? The beta hydrogen. Oh, you want to do that intramolecular hydrogen abstraction. Yeah, that can also happen. But these are the three dominant pro products you can see. That might be the minor products. Okay. So that's why, like uh, cleavage uh, reactions are interesting because, like, you study more about radical chemistry in cleavage reactions. Like first you take in a saturated cyclic system, a saturated acyclic system and you studied all about the chemistry, right. Uh, then you took a six member, you tr tried to study 1,5 di radical system. Then you took like cyclopentanone, 1,4 di radical. Now you are taking a cyclobutanone system, trying to understand 1,3 di radical. So it goes like that. So we will see in, like now in the same class how we can involve the double bond into these radicals. That will be really interesting, okay. If I do my photolysis, I get to my S1, okay. From there, I get my alpha cleavage. So, which side do you want to break now? You have two options you can cleave here or you can cleave here. 
we you can cleave b because again you are thinking about a secondary radicals okay if i cleave a i will be getting my primary radical c s 2 dot here it will be c h with a little so I get this product now. I can do my decarbonylation. See, decarbonylation happens very fast because it's a cyclobutane at the end of the day. <coughs> so you will get. get a type of see this type of ring system forming this type of ring system is possible most of the time by your photochemistry okay cyclopropane type of systems that can happen <coughs> and then you can do your uh, ring expansion you can try your ring expansion by yourself and see what product you are write by yourself ring expansion and in methanol what happens Anyone can tell me what carbon it is, whether it is a singlet carbon or triplet carbon? If it is singlet carbon, okay. How you know it is singlet carbon? Oh, they can be also triplet. Eh? Uh, from what is big? What is difference between a singlet? carbon and how you differentiate a singlet carbon and triplet carbon any idea yeah how you differentiate yeah you whatever you said just right how you can differentiate them i ask you i give you a singlet and triplet carbon i give you some reaction i tell you by the reaction differentiate me that this is singlet carbon and this is triplet carbon how you do that Okay, I will give you a clue. I give you an alkene. Singlet also adds to a double bond. Singlet carbon? Is it other way round? Is it is other way round? Singlet carbon gives you one stereospecific product, right? triplet may you get as a two products because in singlet carbon the reaction is concerted but triplet carbon the reaction is radical so it goes step by step first and it attached to an alkene then the bond rotation can happen place then it can form so you can get many stereo products okay but singlet reactions are very stereo specific clear so we know then this reaction is stereo specific we can take examples where you have a chiral thing and then we can see whether what carbon we are getting okay are we getting h o e m e in different directions mm -hmm. 
uh, don't worry, I will work that example. Okay. That time I will ask you uh, what is the major product. Same cyclobutanol system, we can take a very uh, cyclobutanol system where you can take chiral centers and this and we can treat them whether it is a singular carbon or not. <clears throat> so, I am taking a cyclobutanone, okay, and I am taking an alkene molecule hmm? and I said that yes, uh, I will do a photolysis, normal photolysis. Okay? So, I take cyclobutanol, uh, add some alkene of this and carry out my photolysis, what you can expect. So, I, as you said, <coughs> first it goes to singlet, that is fine, then get to singlet, then you know that it undergoes an alpha cleavage <coughs> so i will take this alpha cleavage product see now it doesn't do any <coughs> decarbonylization all these things because it has an alkene to it try to react with this <coughs> alkene, right. So, your acyl radical can add to your CH2 giving me I get this. <coughs> Yes, right. <coughs> then so I get three vinyl cyclohexanone. <coughs> three vinyl cyclohexanone. See, this is a very good ex experiment because I can say that I have trapped my 1,4 di radical. <coughs> this is a best example for trapping. Okay. <coughs> if someone asks, like, are you sure that you are getting 1,4 di radical? Okay, this is very good example. You take a cyclobutanone, add your alkene and you fertilize, you end up with your vinyl cyclohexanone, 3 methyl vinyl cyclohexanone, right? Very good trapping experiment. Now, <coughs> so, uh, that is more about your uh, systems like uh, cyclic systems, uh, where I have taken 6, 5, 4. We discussed about this 3 ring system. Initially, we started with an see what 3 ketones we said, which can you can observe this uh, Norwich type 1 reaction. One we said it should be a saturated a cyclic system or it should be a cy saturated cyclic system. So, a cyclic system may we took three examples, one we took symmetrical ketone okay, and then in other side we took a ketone where the both the arms of the ketones are different. Okay. Then we took an example where the ketone has a beta hydrogen. Okay. So, we did three examples on a cyclic uh, system. Then we came to the saturated uh, cyclic system where we took six member ring, five member ring and four member ring. So, one more we have to discuss that is your beta gamma unsaturated ketones. 
Okay. If you have a ketone where it is unsaturated within the ring, then what type of chemistry it can do? <coughs> See the uh, for example, I am saying beta gamma, we will discuss other unsaturated also, okay. but first we will start with beta gamma unsaturated. We will take a uh, <coughs> system where cyclo type of cyclobutanone, four member ring system, not cyclobutanone, we will take a four member ring system. <coughs> okay. We will take this system. Now, what happens? You know, you have studied about cyclobutanone. Like four member ring system with a ketone. But now, what I am doing is that I am slowly introducing a concept of double bond here. Okay. So, now I am saying, like if you say alpha, beta, gamma, so you have a double bond in beta, gamma. In that case, what this 1 4 diacyl radicals can do, 1 4 diacyl radicals, whether they can involve the double bond into the system and do the chemistry something like that, or they leave the double bond isolated, that we can see. <clears throat> so, you know that this undergoes a photolysis, mostly it takes from S1, get an alpha cleavage. <clears throat> I can think of <clears throat> two products here, right? both the side it can cleave, we call this A or B, which will be better. B is good, right. You want to generate an alkoxy radical. If I cleave on the A, you will be generating an alkoxy radical, which is not like very hard to make. But if you think about B, I will be generating a, a tertiary type of radical system, which is like stable. Hmm? So, I will get a product then. Get a system like this. <coughs> what this does? This is your primary process, right? Up to this, it is a primary process. Now we will see what this radical does in secondary process. This can do now what? Uh, because it is a again a 1 4 di radical type of system, right, which we have studied. So, what it can think about doing? What we have studied 1 4 di, uh, this type of cyclobutanone system, what are the secondary process? One is uh, the, you have any seen any recombination in 1 4? No, there is no recombination happens. And uh, then, uh, no, then you are you are thinking about beta cleavage that is very hard in the system. Again, you are trying to generate an alkoxy and radical on an alkene system. <coughs> it does not prefer, right. So, we can eliminate that also. Then, you are left with, you are left with what? Ring expansion, that can happen. Can you think about taking the tertiary radical and putting on your oxygen? I am not, if I do that, I am, will not be generating oxocarbon. Can I generate? It is very hard. Um, can, I, can I do a decarbonylization? Why cannot I do a decarbonylization? See, it cannot stay like that at any circumstance. Okay? It has to do something. If I do decarbonylization, then think about uh, radical, first draw the structure, then you will know whether it, 
why this has to form now? That you have to ask yourself. Because it is not so stable, right? Why it tries to form this molecule? Any idea why it tries to form? Yes. See, I can take this radical. Okay, I can take this guy and use it. Yes or no? I can use that. So, if I use it, then I will end up what? See, type of ketone I am getting on. That is why it wants to push that direction. Sir, then I, I can see that that makes me get that alcohol radical on lesion. Which step? This step. Okay. Here, so what it drives you to cleave that? Here, see, I am getting a system like ketone. Yeah, okay. <coughs> I am flashing the light on the initial compound. Yes. <coughs> yes. you want to cleave this direction and get an alkoxy radical and acyl radical, but that time the tertiary that tertiary butyl radical is more stable. The formation of that end radical will be more stable. So, that stability of radical matters. Okay. Now, I can combine this to give me this I can get right. So, if I do it in methanol, if I carry out for example, if I carry out this photolysis in methanol, yeah, you will end up with a very nice product. See now what happens once the double bond comes into the system, <coughs> the chemistry is slightly changed your radical stability that is why your radical chemistry plays a very important role. Okay. Once you get a radical now because of that conjugation with that double bond it tries to form that otherwise it does not need to form that one and gives you a ketone then undergoes a cyclopropanation ring formation then reacts with methanol if it is there you get the product. See if it is a simple system it is easy. So, and uh, now we will take examples in such a way that we will we'll make things little bit uh, better understanding for better understanding rather than saying it tougher. We will take another example. I will give you assignments okay, uh, with some like uh, carrying out 20 or 25 problems uh, uh, based on alpha cleavage. You can work out the, all these problems hmm? or otherwise we can have some class in which we can discuss also. So now we have seen uh, a butanone system with a double bond right to the beta gamma position. This is a cyclopentenone system okay, with a double bond in the beta gamma. Now we will see how this whole chemistry changes, okay, whether uh, the formation of radicals how they are trying to do. Hmm? So that is how it becomes like more interesting once you get into radical understanding this chemistries. Yeah, you can write many possibilities. See, uh, what I suggest is that when you start working on photochemistry, try to write all your possibilities. Okay, nothing wrong in it. Uh, write all your possibilities. Then take the product, understand which will be formed most. It's a, even in exam I say that write all the products. Nothing wrong. Do yeah, you should not violate any rule. Without violating any rule, you write all the products. Okay, then we can discuss. See, there are many products which will form. Once, uh, once you go to the lab and do the condition, okay, then you know this is the major. Then you go get back and try to substantiate that. Hmm? Uh, but uh, once you see the problem, if you can do, like without violating any rule, writing the products is most welcome. Hmm?
Now, we have a cyclopentanone system fine. Uh, so, what cyclopentanone system does uh, once I fertilize it goes to S 1 okay. then you have to write that it goes to triplet it undergoes a intersystem crossing. So, cyclopentanone I carried my chemistry all from the singlet. Okay. <coughs> this then undergoes a your alpha cleavage. Yeah, both since both are symmetrical, there is no problem in that both sides are same. So, it should give it me only one radical. I get this radical, right? This is your primary process. Now, we will see how it works in the secondary that is where like little bit interesting stuff comes. What it can do now? It is a cyclo pentanol. So, you have to think about cyclopentanone what it does normally. What chemistry you see in cyclopentanol? Uh, one you see a recombination. Uh, I do not think like with this ring it can recombine. Uh, another you see your intramolecular hydrogen abstraction. Since I have given methyl all over there is no hydrogen for it to abstract. So, I completely get away from that. Then the final is your decarbonylization. So, uh, that is how you have to see. Okay. So, then you get your decarbonylization. Right. Now, <coughs> now, you have to think what radical you are talking about 1, 2, 3, 4. See do that exercise slowly like avoiding the process. Once you start avoiding that means you are trying to recollect them. Okay. Uh, so, you have you, it is a 1, 4 di radical system. So, 1, 4 di radical system what it does? This we, what we studied 1, 4 di radical system they can recombine. Okay. Uh, whether they recombine? Yeah. If you have a cyclopentanone, you recombine to make a cyclobutane, right? So, recombination is allowed. That can you think whether this can recombine? No. Then, then what you studied? No, what you studied then? Uh, so, 1 4 di radical, what it does? What you studied in 1 4 di radical? Now, only we studied beta cleavage, it is not possible in this case. I cannot cleave my beta then. Then you did you study the hydrogen abstraction? It can't do hydrogen abstraction. So, yeah, yeah, yeah we will come. Okay. Uh, we first see our formulation and see what happens. So, I can say that this radical can abstract an hydrogen from here, right? It can happen because I will get then what product I will get? I will get. I can get this right. I can abstract an hydrogen from here because it is a methyl. So, I can get a system like this, but <coughs> this product is a minor product. Fine. Uh, so, I am not doing anything different whatever formula I said I'm, we are just using the same formula, but since there is a double bond involved. So, I have to use this double bond somewhere. So, what happen I can use them for making bond right. I got a very nice product, but you cannot avoid this you get this product also ok. 
Okay. That is why I said that um, you do with your formula, then you try to involve your double bond and see like whether you can work with your double bond. Clear? Hmm? There are very there are n number of examples which we can work. We will take we will work. I have a system now like this. Okay, what I will do is that <coughs> I will write the product. Okay. Uh, or you want you guys want to try it by yourself i give you 2 minutes 2 or 3 minutes can you try can you try by yourself and tell me what is the product or you want me to give the product and you will try the mechanism you want me to give the major product or you want to try by yourself So, it is a cyclopentanone system. Um, so, first thing you have to remember where you want to do an alpha cleavage. First do the primary photochemical process. You, you do by yourself, I will also try by in my paper, okay. then we will see whether our product matches. System crossing to give me a Check whether you got this product. Huh? Okay. Now what it can do? It can do hydrogen abstraction or how this product mostly look like. That if you have to little bit imagine. What will be the stable form of this writing this product? How like where can you do any alteration there? So that you can get the Anything you can, then you can think whatever you said is hydrogen abstraction can take place, but can you make a lit because you see the system has double bond, right? So you have to somewhere involve the double bond. So, can I write the structure like this? Huh? Correct. So, I am just slowly involving the double bond there. <coughs> I said 
you do not want a carbon with a radical with an OH, right. So, what I did is that just see this carbon will be stable now, I can get this system now, ok. You do not want that system to be there with a carbon with a radical with a OH. <coughs> Now, what will happen? Now, I have a system like this. You want an abstract an hydrogen from where? Tell me from where you are going to abstract an hydrogen. Say from you have a choice here, you want abstract from here? No, from here. You want from here you want abstract an hydrogen. So, that means, you are not uh, you are just seeing the molecule like that as I drawn. Think about the molecule, it is like a cyclobutane with this thing, you want to abstract like this. <coughs> if I just rotate this molecule like this, just because, because this is going to rotate, na? it will be there and then recombine what will happen. just taking this ok, rotating up and then combining with that. See these are tougher, I know these are hard examples ok, but uh, it is better that we do some hard examples in the class. Hmm? Uh, see the hydrogen abstraction taking from this hydrogen is not feasible, then you will be making an alkene system like this which are like. So, but <coughs> You, that's what I said. Na? It's a cyclobutane system, and you are you have to remember. It's not like in the paper I have drawn. Okay, it will be floating like this. You have a cyclobutane, and it will be a linear molecule like this, right? So it can always turn around. This can come down and make a cyclic system. So we will take this type of examples and work. Hmm? Okay. <coughs> uh, we will take one more uh, another example. Okay. We will take a system like this. Okay, there is no double bond. Okay, so we are finished with the double bond, uh, the system. So I am taking a general example. So whatever we talked about, like uh, all the three examples we have seen, a cyclic, uh, saturated, saturated cyclic with a beta gamma unsaturated ketones. That is of three examples where you can see cleavage reaction happening in place, particularly alpha cleavage, it is clear. Okay, now, we will take a general example. Okay. Uh, now, we will think about whether where this guy fits really, how we can do the chemistry, whether it is a six membered or it is a five membered, what radical I will get and what product I should think about. Okay. Using this all knowledge, can we solve this problem? So, we will do. So, uh, you are thinking about what ring system, since it is a ring system you are, uh, you are now much more specified, now it is a ring system and in the ring system there is no double bond, so you can omit that, so you have now ring system. So, ring system we have studied 5 membered, 4 membered and a 6 membered. So, where this comes, so where you want to put this? It is a 5 member or 6 member. So, it is a. So, you want to consider this ring. 
like a six member ring think about like a six member ring system right okay then think about it like a six member so it goes to singlet then triplet fine whatever it is then undergoes a alpha cleavage so first we will write that So, where you want to cleave your bond? Now, alpha cleavage is there. So, it is not a type of symmetry molecule. So, you have to decide I can cleave this side or I can cleave this side. You have an option of cleaving that. It is clear that you want to cleave it A. So, this is your primary process fine that is good. Now, we will think about the secondary process and see what whether we can do anything with that secondary process. Okay. So, what you can think about from here? decarbonylization ok decarbonylization if i do decarbonylization for example ok we will do a decarbonylization as you said i will do a, a decarbonylization so what i am going to get up so i will get see that's why i said like it will be little bit from here i get a radical why i want to generate why the molecule has to generate this radical after this what it wants to do? Yeah, you said decarbonization, so I try a decarbonization, I get an R radical like that. Do you want to combine this radical? That is very odd. So, that is not going to happen then. So, which proton will? No, no. Oh, no, I am not getting it. So, this radical? No, that one not proton. Okay. Okay. So, decarbonization you want to decarbonize this. No, that uh, radical beside O that is this, that is an abstract uh, O. Oh, you are, we are another process ok ok yeah that is fine. So, first we decarbonization is not going to happen no we can cancel it that is how it is it is nice that you work like that. Once you do like uh, 4 or 5 problems then you know by art ok this will not go ok, but initially you have to work out ok. Then we can talk about like a, a sort of intramolecular hydrogen abstraction process. So, uh, we said that we can think about two products in intramolecular hydrogen abstraction one acyl radical taking up an hydrogen or your alkyl radical taking an hydrogen. If I think about an acyl radical taking an hydrogen, so what I should get? This takes hydrogen from where? From where this can take an hydrogen? Acyl, you said acyl radical can take, ne? so tell me which hydrogen acyl radical want to take. See it has to take means it has to take from here only, then only you can generate an alkyl. Do you think this is far quite near for this guy to do this? Ne? For example, it does, then I should get some product like I get a product like this. Now, if it does, but do you think that it is possible for this to take an hydrogen? I do not think so. Ne? Okay, then we will try another thing. What is another intramolecular hydrogen abstraction we were talking about? Alkyl radical can take this hydrogen. Okay. So, if that, that takes what you end up?
you have end up with a ketene. So, something in organic uh, like uh, whenever we design molecules you have to little bit uh, understand like uh, see I have used this OH okay uh, see if there is if it is not participating much most of the time you will never use it na? right. Uh, so, since you have you use this OH you get an insight yes, somewhere this guy is going to do something it not like almost true, but it is. So, you get a ketene now. So, what ketene what it can do? Ketene is not stable, it cannot stand like that, right? What ketene can do? Just think. I can take this and cyclize on your ketene. See, molecules are very clever. So, you get a very nice stable product. So, you have all these options, molecular add all these options, it takes only the easiest way which gives it a stable product, only we have to understand, okay. it takes always it takes the right path, okay. we have to understand which it is taking. <coughs> we, we did decarbonylation, then we thought it is not possible, then we removed it. Then we thought about intramolecular hydrogen abstraction, we thought acyl can take, then we said distance is not a criteria, so we removed it. Then we did ketene and we know that there is a OH which can intramolecularly can attack the ketene to give me a 6 membered nice cyclic ring. Right? So, we have many examples like this. So, um, uh, since um, uh, this is all about alpha cleavage reactions, okay? uh, other examples I can give it as an assignment. Okay? you can work it out and then we can do corrections and everything. Next class we will start beta cleavage reactions. Okay. Once we do beta cleavage, then the cleavage reaction is over. Then we will go for an intramolecular hydrogen abstraction. Okay. Clear? So, we will end up our class with this. <coughs>